Hi. Um, hi, everybody. So, oh, I don't know how to express this. Okay, Brent, you know, we've spoken already. Um, my journey started with a lot of Kriyas, and then I basically couldn't breathe. I was taken, or something like blocked. I couldn't breathe. I was rushed to the hospital. Uh, they did all the tests. Everything was fine. Every test you can imagine was taken, as you know. Um, since then, I have also lately, especially, I have been vomiting and things like that. Um, but I have a very physical sensation of a blockage in my throat. Um, the other day, I was getting so many kriyas. It's like Kundalini wants me to get something out, but it's not coming out. Uh, but it's also very, very physical, like almost like I can feel it in there. And so sometimes I'm getting concerned thinking, is there really something physical that maybe the doctors missed? And the reason why I'm sharing this now is because I just want to know, like, have you heard about actual physical sensations or like, almost like you feel like something is really wrong there? Could this still be Kundalini? I know, of course, you don't give, you know, there's always the chance of this being a medical situation. Don't worry about that. I know, but I just want to kind of know which way to go is there is it like you know you definitely might have something going on or is this kind of common within the world of kundalini no. got it got it so of course yes no, no medical advice here and, and genuinely not just to cover myself for liability issues i really mean there's no harm in consulting the doctor for anything that we're experiencing just to get peace of mind because we do know we can experience health issues alongside kundalini and those health issues can be treated uh, with, uh, you know, the advice of our doctors. And so this is something to keep in mind, but yes, along this process, physical things do arise that, um, are very palpable and visceral and not solely something that we are just perceiving, but actually something happening. Um, I mean, we can look at the physical Kriyas themselves. We're seeing the actual body moving, so in the same way, there's actual things going on in the throat, actual what we may call um, um, signs of something um, being wrong, per se. Now, one thing I would say is, and this can become very frustrating for many, is they know the energy is trying to push through a point, whether it's in the heart or, or somewhere else, anywhere along the spinal column. In your case, it's a throat. The energy is trying to you know, do something in the throat. And it can be frustrating because it feels almost like, you know, um, you want to burp and it can't come out. You want to cry and it can't come out. Um, and, and you feel sometimes that you have to do something in order to relieve it. So what I would say is, yes, you do what you can in order to relieve it, which means surrender, trust. If you're familiar with what area of your body it is and you're getting a feeling, this has to do with some expression in the throat. Maybe you can journal, you can write, you can express, you can, you know, vent, you can do these things. You do your part. But on the other hand, you have to also acknowledge that this energy, it knows exactly what it's doing. And every time that it is felt as if it's blocked, what you're perceiving is not, I want to shift everyone's mind from seeing you're not perceiving a blockage. You're perceiving the energy moving through a blockage. This is a very subtle distinction. You're perceiving the energy doing work at that point. This is God waking up in you. An emotional block is not going to stop God, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we feel like, oh, I'm so blocked. My blockage is my, my pain is stopping God. And I need to do something so that God can move through me. No, no, God is doing the work and that's what you're feeling. And so it can be frustrating because it can take some time, but just know that every time you perceive it, even though it's uncomfortable on some level, you can say, oh, thank you. I see you're doing work there. Thank you. Thank you. At your own pace, at your own pace. This is how we can pray and relate with the energy. And that can bring us peace because often the, the difficulty around it comes from the confusion. It comes from the resistance. It comes from the feeling of wanting it to happen and, and pass through very quickly so we can move on. But if we can make peace with where, we at, where we're at and say, okay, there's some work happening here and it will take as long as it needs to take. From there, there's a layer of peace. And paradoxically, this may be the chance that then the energy moves through and says, okay, what you were meant to be shown throughout this experience itself was shown a little bit of acceptance, a little bit of patience, a little bit of, uh, of, of trust and surrender. 
because along the journey as well also has its own lessons incorporated into the healing itself, if that makes sense. There's many dimensions that, that are happening here. So I hope that can help you.